Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little Pac-Man animation that you see here. I'm going to be using some simple tips and tricks, nothing too complicated. I hope you guys are able to follow along. If this is a little bit too advanced for you, feel free to check out some of my other content. It's a little bit easier. And I will be making this scene file available to my Patreons. There's more information about that in the description below. You guys can go and check it out. So here it is, just so you guys can have a look at the scene file. This is what we're going to be making today. Let's get started. Okay, so when you see an open up in Blender, go ahead and select all of your default objects and then delete them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options, we're gonna add in a UV sphere. With this UV sphere selected, we're gonna tab into edit mode and then we're gonna go to our edge select here. Deselect all of these vertices and we're gonna select this middle loop here. So Shift, Alt and click on this loop. And then if we hit V, so the V key on your keyboard is gonna cut it. And then we're gonna go Control L to select those vertices. If we have any one of these selected, we're gonna go X and delete vertices. So we only have half a sphere here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this loop here. And we're gonna go ES and we're gonna extrude it in a little bit. And then ES one more time. Then we're gonna go Control F and we're gonna to go to Grid Fill. And that's just gonna fill that in for us. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and just deselect that. Holding in Shift and Alt, we're gonna select this edge here. Then we're gonna go um, Shift E, we're gonna drag this, and we're just gonna create a um, edge seam over here, or edge crease. Then we're gonna go Control R, hovering over here, double click, and then double G to slide in another loop. And then S, just to scale it up a tiny little bit. Then what we're gonna do is go to our modifiers panel, we're gonna add in a subdivision surface modifier. And just click on this button here as well. And increase the viewport to two, and the render to three. Then tab out of edit mode. Go to Object and Enable Shade Smooth. Now with that done, what we're gonna do with this piece selected is we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate it, right click to let go. And then we're gonna go R, Y, 180, and we're gonna hit Enter. So we just rotated it 180 degrees along the Y. So we have these two parts here. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in an empty and it's gonna be a cube. Then we're gonna select this top part, holding in Shift, select this bottom part. And then holding in Shift still, select this empty and we're gonna go Control P, we're gonna to go to object and keep transform. So now if we grab this empty and we move it around, we can see both of these here are parented to this empty. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab these two halves here. And, um, oh yeah, we can't actually animate them yet. So let's just add the eyes here. So go shift A and go to your mesh options and add in a circle. And with that circle selected, tab into edit mode. Then go R, X, 9, 0 and hit enter to rotate that circle 90 degrees on the X. And then what we're gonna do is just tap out of edit mode and just move this guy to the side here so we can see better. Now tap into edit mode and just go E, S to extrude it in. And then go Control F and we're gonna go to grid fill. And that's just gonna fill that in. Tab out of edit mode. And then what we're gonna do is go to our top orthographic view and just take this guy here and just move it to the right here. And then if we hit free on our number pad to go into our right orthographic view, we can come into our front view and just double tap R and just rotate this guy like this, and then S to scale it down. And we're just gonna roughly place it where we want our eye to be. So I'm just hitting, um, so if you just hit free to go to your right orthographic view, and we just wanna move it here, like this. And we're just a little roughly putting it in place. This is gonna be an eye. Scale it down a bit, just move it into position, like this. And then what we're gonna do is go to add, and we're gonna add in a mirror, we're gonna click on this little eyedropper, select this sphere over here, and we're gonna get rid of the X and we're gonna make it Y. Minimize this and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add in a shrink wrap modifier. Click on this little eyedropper and we're gonna select this guy here. Then on top of that, we're gonna add in a solidify modifier. We're gonna increase this thickness amount to about this much. And then we're gonna go and add a subdivision surface modifier, object and enable shade smooth. So here we have our two eyes. And now, if you go to your right orthographic view, just make sure it's where you want the eyes to be if you're happy with them. You can always come in here, grab this guy and just move it around. Rotate it, totally up to you to place the eyes where you want it. You know, just move them around, but they'll be mirrored on both sides. Once you're happy, go ahead, apply the mirror, apply the shrink wrap, apply the solidify modifier and apply the um, subdivision surface modifier. And if these two, um, this object now selected, holding in shift, select the top part and go control P and we're gonna go to set parent to object and keep transform. 
So now if we rotate this guy, we can see those eyes are connected. So what we need to do now is drag up this timeline here. And what we want to do is holding in shift, we're going to select both of these parts here. And we want to come to frame one. And on frame one with both of them selected, we want to hit I and we want to insert a rotation key. Then we want to come to frame 10 and on frame 10, we want to grab this top part. We want to go R, Y, 45. Okay, sorry, R, Y, minus 45, and we want to hit enter. Then grab this bottom part, and we're going to go R, Y, 45, and hit enter. And then we're going to also um, grab this top guy and just go S to scale it up just a little bit like that. Okay, so select both of them, and on frame 10, we're going to go I, and we're going to insert a rotation key with these two new rotations on frame 10. And then what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to just select both of these keyframes now. And we're going to go Shift D, and we're going to drag them up till the first one is on frame 20. And then if we go Shift R, we're going to repeat that action a few times, like this. Okay, so let's have a look at that when we play the animation. So that's what we have right there. And it should be, as long as it's more than 120, it's fine. Okay, so just duplicate it a few times like that. So we have these frames. And now the rest is going to be easy. We're just going to animate this and add in the rest of our things. So go to your front orthographic view. And with this empty now selected, what we're going to do in our front orthographic view is we're going to go G, X. And we're going to move this guy over to the side. But we're going to hold in control till we snap it on our grid over here. So right there. And then what we're going to do is go to frame one. And on frame one, we're going to go I and we're going to insert a location key. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go G, X, we're gonna move this guy over a few grid spaces to here. And we're gonna go I, or we're gonna go to frame 120, sorry. Then go G, X, move this guy up a few grid spaces to here. And then we're gonna go I, and we're gonna insert a location key. Now, if you wanna see exactly how much I moved it by, I'll hit my N key here, go to my item, and you can see here, we've moved it 15 meters from where it originally was, or if we go back here, we moved it negative three, the first keyframe, and then over here on this keyframe, we moved it positive 15 on the X, okay? So if you guys want to be exact, you can come and type in these exact numbers here and hit I if you want those exact um, positions. Okay, so let's just go to frame one and play that so we should see this. Now the rest is also pretty straightforward. Let's go back to frame one. We're going to go Shift A, we're going to go to our Mesh Options, add in a UV Sphere, and then we're going to go S to scale down that UV Sphere, like this. Then we're going to go to Object, Enable Shade Smooth, and then what we're going to do is tap into Edit Mode, go into our Front Orthographic View, and if this geometry is selected, we're going to go Shift D X, hold in Control till we snap it onto our grid here. So you can, we're going to snap it one grid space. Then we're going to go Shift R to repeat that action, like this, a few times, just like that about 10 or so will do in a tab out of edit mode. And now if we go into our front view and we play it, we're gonna see this, right? Just something like that will be fine. And now let's just get ourselves a camera in the scene. So I'm gonna come kind of to the side here, like this. I'm gonna go Shift A, go down, I'm gonna add in a camera. So go to your camera settings, add in a camera. And in your ca if you have your camera selected, hit zero to go into camera view and then G, middle mouse wheel and just pull back. And then G, X and just move your camera over here to the side. We're going to make it an orthographic camera. So come here to the type, make it orthographic. Come to your output settings and we're going to make the Y resolution here 1920 as well. It's going to give us a square aspect ratio. So it's just G to move your camera around. We just want it on the side here like this. So if we go to frame one, we should see this. Okay. And also we want to come to our end frames here and just make it 120 frames as well. So this will loop like that. Okay, so we can also, with our camera selected, come to our camera settings and just pull back on the orthographic scale to zoom out as much as we want. And let's just have a look at that. So this is totally up to you. Um, play around with it till you get something you like. But I'm going to go with this. Okay, so that's really good. So I'm going to go Shift A, go to my mesh options. We're going to add in a plane. I'm just going to scale that plane up. Then we're going to go G, Z, just bring it down a bit. And then G, X, and move it over to the side a bit. And then go into your camera view. And just scale this guy up till it fills up all of the camera space here. Just so we have something that looks like this. Okay, so there is the animation. I'm going to quickly show you how we can make the little dots disappear. That's quite simple. So go back to frame one. And what we're going to do here is go Shift A. We're going to add in a cube. 
go to our camera, um, our object properties here. We're going to go down to um, viewport display, and we're going to go to display as. We're going to make it wire. Then we're going to go G X and holding control, and we're going to snap it over here so it's halfway in our empty here. Tab into edit mode. We're going to go to face select. Select this back face and go G X and just move it back quite a bit, just something like that, or about the same length as these guys here. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to go down to our visibility and we're going to make show in render. We're going to disable that so when we render, this guy won't render. Now, if this guy is still selected, holding in shift, we're going to select this empty. We're going to go control P, we're going to go to set parent to object and keep the transform. So now that guy is parented to this empty. And now what we're going to do is select these guys here. We're going to go to our modifiers tab, add in a Boolean. We're going to click on this little eyedropper and select that object we just created, which is this one here. And now if we go into our camera view and we play this, it should make those disappear as he's eating them. Like that. And that is really looking awesome. And also if we were to render it, we won't actually see this because under our object properties, we went to our visibility and we unticked that show in render as well. So let's now go and add in our materials and our lighting. Okay, so to get started with the lighting and the materials, we're gonna to go to our render settings first of all. We're gonna make sure we're in the render engine EV over here. We're gonna enable ambient occlusion and also screen space reflections. Then we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna to go to our lights. We're gonna add in an area light. Then we're gonna go G, Z, bring this guy up here and then go S to scale it up about that much and then SX, scale along the X. Then we're gonna go G, X and just move it over our little Pac-Man character here, roughly in the middle. And then we're gonna to go to our light settings. We're gonna make the power of this 890 and we're gonna hit enter. Come down to the size and we don't have to do anything because we've already scaled it. So just leave it as it is. So now if we go into our camera view and we go Z and we go rendered, and um, we should see this is what our lighting looks like. Now you can bump up this power. I might just bump it up to 1200. And then I'm gonna to go to my right orthographic view. I'm gonna go shift D, duplicate this guy bring it over here and just rotate it like this. So this is gonna be my lighting for now. And then I'm just gonna get a frame that I like. I'm gonna select my little Pac-Man character here and I'm gonna to go to my shading and go over here into the rendered view, go into your camera. Now let's just add a material. So let's create the first material for this Pac-Man guy. I'm just gonna call it Pac-Man. And we're just gonna make this a really basic kind of yellow like this and also give that same material. So click on the bottom part and give it that same Pac-Man material. Bring the roughness down a little bit, but not all the way. Then what we're gonna do is select the eyes here. We're gonna go new. We're gonna call this material eyes, and we're just gonna make it fully black like this and bring down that roughness. Then we're gonna select our floor. We're gonna go new. And we're gonna make this like a kind of purplish violet blue. And we're gonna bring that value down here to make it a lot darker. And we're also gonna bring the roughness down to make it a lot more reflective, like that. And let's have a look at that. Okay, that's looking really awesome. And also what you can do is select your little Pac-Man character here, go to materials here, just hit the little plus, go new, and this is called this mouth. And you don't have to do this, this is something I like to do. Tab into edit mode, and just select these bottom faces here. Okay, just select these bottom faces. And give it that mouth material and do the same with this guy down the bottom here. Give it that math material, click the little plus and assign this. This is something a little extra, but I like to do it. And then let's just give that math material like this kind of bluish color. I think that looks pretty nice. So that was a really simple tutorial, didn't take long at all. And I hope you guys liked it. So yeah, you can work on it, refine it a little bit. That's not quite right there, so let me just quickly grab this cube here at the back and I'm just gonna bring this face out a little bit more. So G, X, let's have a look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna now render this out. I'll quickly show you guys how we do it. So go to your layout, go to your output settings and then what you're gonna do is go down to your output, click on this little folder. I'm gonna select my desktop, I'm gonna go accept. Go to your file format, we're gonna make it FFmpeg. Go to encoding and then we're gonna go to the container and make it MP4peg here. And now if you go render and you go render animation, it's gonna render this animation out. So go ahead and click that. Anyway, I'm not gonna do it because I already have. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, um, check 
check out some of my other stuff, please subscribe, like my video. And if you want to have this original blend file right here, I will go ahead and I'll put it on my Patreon, like I always do. And you guys can go check that out in the description below. I put a lot of other really cool stuff on there as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.